So we're here today at the Roosevelt Memorial, which is on the Tidal Basin in Washington, D.C. We wanted to answer a question that I found in Dan Brown's book called Lost Symbols. He posits the idea that on top of the Washington Monument, there is a nine inch aluminum pyramid, okay? But of course, because we are at ground level, there's really no way of seeing the nine inch pyramid on top of the Washington Monument unless you have a very powerful instrument. So for that matter, we have the ETX-125 by Mead. We are brand ambassadors for Mead. And uh, so we've had a lot of experience with the ETX-90, but today, in essence, to solve this mystery, we have the 125. Let's see if I can give you a bird's eye view of what we see. Here's the moment of truth. Before we peer through this lens to see what's on top of the Washington Monument, were you aware that there was something very special up there? Uh, so special, in fact, that the story goes that Napoleon uh, would serve his v VIP guests using this material. Um, and regular, if you will, heads of state were served on gold. So this, once upon a time, had a status that was equal to, if not even higher than gold. Let's take a look. All right. Let's see if we could focus it on the... You guys uh, setting up for stars or looking at buildings? Uh, we're just looking at the aluminum pyramid on the uh, monument. And there it is, yeah. Superb. The basis of this video series is really to show you how versatile Mead's ETX series of telescopes are. When you're thinking about buying a telescope for yourself, your family, or for a school, um, you tend to only assess its value in terms of its nighttime observations. But if you stick with us over the next set of videos, we'll show you how versatile this telescope is. Um, so one scope, five objects, celestial and terrestrial. You know the Washington Monument underwent some structural and cosmetic damage back in 2011 during the earthquake. If the Washington Monument were to be rebuilt again, what would you, um, put as the capstone, as the pinnacle. Um, I'm thinking, uh, well, wait a minute. You know what? This sounds like a question actually for the futurist himself. Uh, let me call Romanio in and see what he's got. Uh, Romanio, I was asking the question, this next generation, younger generation, I suppose it has something to do with what you value um, or even what you are aware of. But if the Washington Monument were to be rebuilt, what would you put as the capstone, as the pinnacle? Well, I was thinking maybe either graphene or carbon fiber. Graphene or carbon fiber? Really? Yes. Okay. I mean, they're both carbon materials, but that's not why they're both very strong. Yes, yeah, yeah. No, no, they and are. And they're like the, uh, they're like how aluminum used to be very... Right, yeah, yeah. And you're right about that. Once upon a time, aluminum was, in essence, a neoclassical unobtainium. Uh, it was the thing that, you know, again, Napoleon would only serve his v VIP guests on aluminum and his regular, his special guests on uh, gold. Is that yes. right? Yeah. So. And today we dine with aluminum uh, and whenever we have special events, it's, oh, it's uh, gold colored stuff. Yes. Yes. Gold color. You're right about that. We, we don't, we don't, we don't roll uh, like that yet. Um, or really ever, um, you know, I, I can't ever see a time when I would need gold. But anyway, I digress. What would you put on top of the Washington Monument? Okay, I personally was thinking aerogel. So right now we have sort of three candidates. We have aerogel, that's mine. Uh, you said uh, graphene and uh, carbon fiber? Yes, okay. or carbon nanotubes. Or carbon nanotubes, Which okay. essentially rolled graphite. Right. Uh, uh, graphene. Graphene. Yes. So. All right. So 
uh, leave your comments. In essence, you can take the poll uh, or leave your comments below. Um, and the best, the best one, um, actually, we will both pin it and we'll give you guys a coin. We have a, do you have that coin? I do. Okay. So we have a gold coin, gold-ish, uh, from the Louvre. In essence, when we were in Geneva at CERN, uh, we took a day trip over to Paris. Paris yes. Yep. And so we got this gold-ish coin, right? And, uh, by the way, the Louvre is the biggest museum in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. So on the back it says the Louvre. I don't know if you can see that. And on the front. Um, also, I'll let you guess what's on the front. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>